Hello, this tutorial is teaching you how to do the keychain with the text indented to the body of the keychain, such as over here where I have keychain number two here. See, the TMS is actually going down into the keychain. So, to start, you're going to click on Create New Design, and that might take a minute to pull up and load everything and the tools that you'll need. The first thing I'd like you to do is change the name up here to your first initial, your first name, then your last name, and then go ahead and type um, keychain. Hit return. As you go through this tutorial, please pause the video, then go to the drawing on Tinkercad so move back and forth this would be a good place to get stuff started so we'll pause here now we'll start again the next part we're going to do the body of the keychain so we'll move a box over here put it on the work plane click into the corner of the box once you have that, we're keeping the depth of this. I'll have to click that again. There we go. And so I'm going to click here, and I want this thing a width of 85. The 20 is fine. And the top, we want this a height of 8. So if you click here and type 8, That'll give us plenty of height. So we have it 85 by 20 and 8 tall. So this again would be a good place to pause and complete this part of the instruction. The next step we're going to put in the cylinder or the hole for the keychain. This hole should be 12 by 12. So I click into the corner, I type in the box 12, I type into the other box 12, and then I want to move this thing so it's just inside the keychain itself. Now I would highly suggest using the mouse to rotate or you can use the cube up here to move but you need to look at it from the side and to try and line up to make sure that it's even. So I probably could do one more millimeter this way to make it even. You can see the box of where it's going through there. Uh, actually, it was kind of right on before. So you want that center line right down there so it follows the center. Now. I don't want to make it too close to the edge, and that is really close. So I probably want it two millimeters. So I want to move this over just one millimeter over, I think, to kind of line it up. Um, I want to try to make stuff look even, but also give it enough plastic on the edge there that the keychain, the chain itself, won't pull through the hole there. The last part of this, and I'm using the right click to rotate there on the mouse. If I click on the cylinder, I'm going to click on the point at the top and just push the whole thing down so I can see the hole through the bottom and the top. Once I have that done, I can left click out here, drag it across all my objects and let go. Then I'm going to hit group so it's one solid piece with a hole through it. Please pause and complete that part of the instruction. The next step is we're going to set this up to put the text in here so it won't go all the way through the keychain and parts of the letters. Like if you did a B, the center parts would just fall out. So we only want to put it partially into the keychain. So we have to change where this work plane is sitting. So the first thing, I'm going to take and put a box here next to this, and I'm going to just change the color to make it easier for myself to read it or remember about it. So I'm going to put it yellow for caution. 
Then I'm going to click on this box that's in the center right here. And I want it halfway through the keychain. So the letters will go halfway down. So if you remember, the keychain is eight tall. So this box, I'm going to type at four, which is half of it, and hit return. If I put this work plane on top of this box, then all the letters will line up halfway down the keychain. So now I'm going to choose work plane and click on top of the box, the yellow box. Now you can see that it's halfway through here. Okay. I'm going to choose text for my letters and click out here. By the way, you should pause right before you hit that text or you can go back, complete the first part of that and then come back to this point because we want to make sure to have this work plane in the right place or it's just not going to come out right. So now we're putting on text. I know it's larger than the keychain itself. Up here you're going to choose to put something like your last name there or sports you're interested in. Um, it's really good for your last name because then you can put it on your computer case and then attached there it could easily find yours compared to somebody else's but you're more than welcome to put like your favorite team like the Colts or the sports team or your sports number anything like that as long as it's school appropriate just check with me if you're unsure so I am going to put on here Tipton and when you do this the colors really don't matter because it's going to print out what other whatever color is in the printer it's not going to change to the ones you have okay now from here I want to make sure this fits inside this part so if I click in the bottom corner I'm going to change this part to 16 and hit return and then here because we have that hole already in it we're going to change this down to 60 and hit return Now, I'm going to drag this over on top, and I might even, to make it easier for me to see it, I'm going to just change this to blue so I can see it easier. I'm using uh, the mouse to roll in to see cl closer. Now, this is going inside of here, and I just want to make sure, see this is right on the edge, and I want to move it just two spots up, one two like little clicks up or two grid pieces up so there we go I'm gonna rotate so I can see the top so it looks the same on the top distance as the bottom at this point I can click on the tipped in text and make it click on the hole here that turns it gray so now it's going down into the block at this point I'm going to click on that yellow block because I don't need that anymore. I'm going to delete it. Then I'm going to left click and drag across the entire keychain, let go, and group it. And then I'll make the indentations there. We need to make the work plane, change the work plane down underneath. See, it's halfway through now. So I'm going to hit work plane and just click out here to put it down the surface. So now you see I have tipped in and it's indented. It's ready to go. Have the teacher have me check it and then we can print it. That's the end of this tutorial.